Minecraft, but there is Squid Games items. Yeah. We first start off as a player competing for survival in the Squid Games. Then we can craft Squid Games armor and go head to head with the leader to eventually face off against player number one in the final Squid Game. First thing that we got to do, guys, is actually play some of the Squid Games themselves in order to be able to get the Squid armor. And eventually, if my calculations are correct, we're going to be able to take down the leader himself. Right away, we spawn in instantly we've got the red light green light game here i'm gonna just see if we can activate that all right i see now there's a big item there or an arrow pointing down oh there's a chest actually up there green light i can don't move red light green light go 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 i'm scared i'm stopping right now okay on green light sprint 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 stop oh i got really lucky there actually Okay, green light! Run! 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 That was the closest call so far. Go, 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 go. Oh, cow's pushing me. Do not touch me. You touch me, I'm dead. Don't touch me. Green light, go, 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 go. Red light, there's the chest right there. Green light, go for it. We got it. Oh, just in time for the last red light. Oh, we've got the player 456 helmet, the player 456 chest plate, player 456 leggings, and player 456 boots. This isn't the Squid Games armor yet, but we are officially player 456, which is probably good news because I think 456 is the one that makes it. Unfortunately, it's still up to me to actually win the games. Let's move on to game number two. Inside, we've got ourselves a stack of cookies as well. Pull those down. I can safely move around now. What happens if I munch a cookie? I already lost one life. If I lose another life, am I out of the game completely? This has to be the shapes game, and I don't know how to carve these shapes out. If I eat it, I can lick it. That's a strategy that worked. Oh, I can't eat it. I don't eat the cookie. That's good news. I've got to do something else. Let me gather up some tools and hopefully carve the shapes out using tools. Get ourselves just a couple of logs and see if we can get something sturdy enough to actually carve out a decent shape. It must be sharp. So I'm guessing it probably isn't a wood tool. It's got to be something better than that. But grab ourselves a pickaxe and we can gather some stone tools, hopefully. Okay, we've got ourselves a stone pickaxe. Now, either it's going to be stone items like a sword or an axe or it could possibly be iron as well and there's plenty of iron here so that's good news because i won't have to go far all right i've got enough stone we can test out the first thing i'm going to try is gonna be some stone swords oop wrong way there we go now there we go we've got one how many would we need in order to carve out a shape three perhaps for a triangle i got the cookie on the ground do i whack it i don't think i whack it that probably i don't i, I, I don't think i can carve it out in middle the middle of the air like that that that, that doesn't work I'm gonna have to put it in the crafting table. Place that in there. Let's do stone swords around. Anything like this. <gasps> Wait, it did work! We got ourselves the first shape! A triangle cookie. Oh, perfect. Triangle cookie. We lost our swords, though. Craft ourselves some more. For a square, we'll probably need four swords. There we go. All four swords. Place in our cookie. Let's go above, side, right side, and bottom. And it does work again! We got ourselves a square cookie. Beautiful. Two shapes down. How many more do we need? A circle? Maybe the corners. Four more swords. Just gather myself up enough stone for a couple more swords and let's see if we can craft this without getting nuked again here we go cookie in one layout we haven't tried yet all the corners just like this let's go that's gonna be three total shapes we got ourselves the circle cookie which looks awfully familiar almost like just shaving off the outer edge of the regular cookie oh well it doesn't matter we got ourselves the circle cookie grab that one down all right that's three cookies <gasps> and we can use these three cookies to get to our next game place all of them together submit them to the squid games gods there's a skeleton over there i'm gonna hide so i don't get in trouble because if i lose my life now three games in that's gonna be a major bummer place them all in there grab ourselves a marble oh no the marble game this is my least favorite game of all of the squid games get out into the open here it is a perfect circle it actually looks like a very quality marble i'm really hoping it doesn't murder me oh here we go the clue is right with us marble play with mobs and collect 10 to avoid elimination we have 15 minutes i gotta stop wasting time i think i have to go play with the skeleton oh gosh oh okay here Come on, come on, just dodge. All right, give me your trade, trade. I did it, and we got ourselves two marbles. Two out of 10, but I need to hurry if we're gonna successfully complete this challenge in time. Can I play with friendly mobs? Please let me play with friendly mobs. Oh no, I accidentally threw a marble onto the ground. I should have done that, I lost a marble. Hey, guys, please let me play with you, please. Oh yes, okay, thank goodness. I got two again, so we're back to square one. Hey buddy, please. 
Yes! Oh no! But this guy didn't drop a marble. He stole my marble instead. I'm back to one marble again. Oh my gosh. How much time do we have? This might be the hardest challenge so far. And I really need some food too along the way. I need to hurry up. Grab a couple of these. Sorry. Give me that. Thank you. All right. I've got a marble, please. I just need something like a zombie. That would be easy. Hello. Oh, there's creepers right there. Perfect. Okay. Got him. Yes. He dropped a marble too. Do you want some? There's another one. Yes. Yes. We're up to five marbles now. Just a couple more trades successfully, hopefully. Oh, I already went this way. That's not the way to go. I need to find a different way. I hear some mobs. There we go. There we go. Got him. No, he stole that marble. Anybody else? Please. Yes, don't go down. Ah, perfect. Me, just trade with you. Come this direction. Perfect. Gotcha. We're up to six marbles, but slowly running out of time. It's excruciating. Oh, that's not the best spot. I really need to. Can I make this throw from up here? <gasps> yes, we got him. Just get over there. Seven marbles. Oh, boy. Three more trades to make. Come on, buddy. I just need to make a decent trade with you. Don't fall off. Let me just trade down there. Oh, no, our marble fell all the way down. Okay, there's our next two trades right there, though. And our final trades. You guys, yes? Gotcha. And there's a marble and gotcha. Another marble. <gasps> and it brought us to the bridge game. Oh no. How am I going to be able to play this? Without more players, there's no way to tell which one is going to be the real glass and which one's going to be the fake glass. I've got no one to go before me. Is there any way to tell the difference between these two glasses? This is going to be nearly impossible. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine steps. And I have to get all all of them correct in order to survive. All right, we just have to go for the first one. Come on, please. It's also parkour, guys, and I suck at parkour, and I, I, I just get so nervous every single time that I do this because I know that I could go down at any second. I'm just gonna go. We're going right. We're going right. Oh, it worked. Still have eight more to go. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's, it's eight. It's eight. It's eight. Right. Could go right again. I'm going left. Please, please work. Please work. We had more than one life. Okay, we know what's not left, right? Right? Oh, thank goodness. Is there any way for us to test this? If we only have one extra life per game, then we are going to be out of luck if we get this wrong. I wonder if I can test it somehow. Can I throw a marble onto the glass? Oh, wait, it made a sound. Did you hear that? Hold on. That one sounded way louder. This one was quieter, and that one was way louder. Be, everyone be quiet. Everyone... Silence. Listen carefully. And it's the louder sound that correlates to the block we can actually jump on. If we can listen carefully here, let's see. That was a quiet one. And this one? Louder. It's got to be right. It's got to be a right jump. Here we go. It is. Okay. Listen to this one. Loud again. That was loud. Oh, it worked again. Oh, oh. Okay, we may actually be able to figure this out. We may actually be able to do this. Go far side. That one's loud. That one's quiet. I've only got seven marbles left. I'm pretty sure that was a loud one. Go! <gasps> yes! Yes, it was! That's this one. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't paying close enough attention. That one might have been quieter. Let's go to the right side. No, that one was definitely louder over there. It was definitely louder over there. It has a little click at the very end of the sound. It's like the, the muffled, but then there's a... <laughs> I'm going crazy. These games are making me crazy. I'm going for it. Worked. All right, test right in front. Quiet again. Oh, I missed. Oh, I made it. I lost three marbles on my misses, though. It's got to be this one over here, though. Okay, I've got three marbles left, which means I can only test three of the four blocks that are remaining. All because I failed on my toss. That's okay. If I listen carefully, I should be able to tell. Just don't miss. Go here. That was loud. We can jump this one. Oh, okay. Now this one. I think that was quiet. Go over there. Get closer. That was the loud one. We did it. We did it. We made it successfully. Woo! Woo! Yes! Oh my gosh. We, oh, we got it. We got to the Squid Game armor, I think. These are the worker scraps. These match all of the workers in red throughout the Squid Games. Let's gather all of it up. Get all the worker scraps. Is there a way down here? Oh, perfect. And grabbing all of the scraps 
brought us right down to the bottom. All right, can we craft these scraps into the armor? No, we can't. We can't craft armor out of it. <gasps> but we can craft the workers' ingots. Oh, perfect, perfect. Let's get all the ingots we can possibly get. 24 ingots total. Wait, is that the right amount? If we have 24 ingots, can is that a full set of armor? We've got it. We unlocked the Squid Game chest plate. Let's grab that. We've got ourselves the Squid Game boots as well. And we've got ourselves the Squid Game leggings. And just enough left to get ourselves... <gasps> we are! We're a soldier. It's a triangle helmet. Switch all of our player armor out. Infiltrate the Squid Games. And put on the helmet. We've got the full Squid Games gear on now. And we've got ourselves a brand new bar at the top of the screen. We have officially shifted over from being a player in the Squid Games to now being a worker for the Squid Games. And the bar fills up when we kill off players. Are the players other mobs? <laughs> Well, they are. It slowly fills up. All right, if I'm going to be a worker for the Squid Games, I'm going to need some better tools in order to actually do as much damage as possible. All of a sudden, I'm feeling overwhelmed with power. It's turned from me trying to save myself to me just trying to be as strong as I could possibly be. And gather that. Go quickly. I don't know if this bar is going to run out or if we have a time limit on this one as well. Line up our furnaces and go fast regardless. Let's toss some iron in this one. That should be able to get us an axe, a sword. Toss it in there and in there. Beautiful. All right, that's good so far. And we can craft ourselves some weapons now. We got ourselves the iron sword. That'll be good. And we can get ourselves an axe here. That'll be amazing. Let's grab another. We've got one ingot left. There we go. Let's get ourselves a shield. All right, we've got a shield. And we've got ourselves an axe. All righty, folks. Let's go fill this bar up. Find some players to eliminate. We've got a world to explore. Anything we run into, take it out. There's a pig over there. You guys feel like the weakest players in the entire game. So I'm going to go after you first. Yep. There we go. Yep. And final pig. Yes. Goodbye. I don't know if it adds as much progress as if we kill actual hostile mobs, though. Or if we bring ourselves to a village and go after actual humanoids. I'm so sorry, guys, but you're probably the best players in the game. You gotta go. I'm sorry. You gotta go. Wait, did that even do anything? Oh, those are the wrong players to eliminate. Never mind. I'm sorry. Find something actually harmful that I really need to take out here. There you go. Yes. Go ahead. Both of you. Oh, wait. You can't attack me because I'm a leader. I'm a Squid Games worker now. Wait, will you attack me? Well, the skeleton will, though. You guys won't actually light up, though. Oh, that's perfect. Go ahead. Come on. See ya, buddy. You can't go after me. Creeper can't go after me. We're almost halfway full on our bar. Just a few more mobs to take out. We officially broke the halfway marker. Is this the game that the workers are playing during all of the squid games? That would be insane. Secretly, they're in charge of actually ensuring people pass away during the games. All right, guys. Take you down. There we go. Goodbye. Oh, we're like two thirds of the way there, folks. Come on. A couple more players. There we go. Player eliminated. And... Zion, Nara, I need the money. You guys are going to get me awfully close. Oh my word. Maybe one more mob is all we need in order to fill our bar completely. All the players are hiding right now. I can't find anyone. There we go. Come on. Gotcha. Oh, it's actually one more on top of that. You might be my last foe. Let's see. Take you down. Wait, it's not a player that actually fills the bar completely. We have to head back to the games and the leader has spawned. Is this the final Squid Games leader? No way. We still have to play the final game. Oh my gosh, but he's in all black just like the final leader. This might actually be him. How strong is he? Oh my word. Hey, okay, back off. Back off. Don't touch me. I've turned against you. Oh my word. How much health do you have? <gasps> Wait, we did it. We beat the leader, and it brought us to the end. This isn't the normal end, though. There's a staircase leading up. Oh, no, it's back to another player. I see him over there. We started as a player, got the Squid Games armor, infiltrated and beat the leader, but we still have to go back to play the final Squid Game? Oh, is that player? It is. It's player 001. All right. If we're going to do it, buddy, let's do it. Got to get around. I've got to get to the top there and then go through the squid. I'm assuming if I stay on the outside, get to the block here. Can I break the block to begin the... It's begun. There we go. All right. Oh, I got him in one hit. We took down player 001 in one hit. It must have been his heart on the other side over there. We won the games, but it feels so empty. There's no grand finale or anything.